Okay, so here it says, how many valence electrons does bromine have? Okay, so they're saying that bromine has seven ele electrons, right? Seven valence electrons, rather. So this is right. Why? Because first of all, bromine is found in group seven, right? And on top of that, if you write out the electron configuration of bromine, right? If you're looking at your valence shell, right? So maybe we can go ahead and look at our periodic table for now. Okay, so if you look at the periodic table, right? So we're sharing a periodic table. And if you do want a copy of this um, periodic table, please let me know. So if you look at bromine over here, so bromine is found in group seven, right? So it's underneath chlorine. So we know that, remember for your, yeah, remember for your S, P, um, D, and F shells, right? If you're looking at your period, right, which is n is equal to 1. Okay, I guess we have to zoom this out. If you're looking at hydrogen, so this is n is equal to 1, 2, right, and then you have 3. It's your principal quantum number, right? So we're going to go over quantum numbers right now because it's, it's related to electron configurations. But basically what I was trying to get at is if you have n is equal to 1, this is n is equal to 2, and you're looking at n is equal to 3, right? This is n is equal to 4 for potassium. And then if you go across your periodic table, right? So this is n is equal to 4, remember potassium, and this is where bromine is found, right? So you're going to see that you have 4s2, 3d10, right? Remember this is your d subshell, and then you have 4p five right for bromine so if you're looking at the p and at the energy level four right because remember your valence is going to be n is equal to four right because that's the highest energy level as opposed to you know overpassing this 3d right if this is n is equal to four right so four s two so maybe you can write that down okay so we said bromine is Okay, so we said bromine is 4s2, right? And then you have the 3d10. So I'm just looking at your last subshell or shell, rather. So I'm looking at n is equal to 4, and I'm looking at the 3d10. So it's very, it's basically the period that is um, the highest, right? So we have 4s2, 3d10, and then you have 4p5, right? Because bromine is found in group 7, right? So if you think about looking at your valence shell, so first of all, if you're learning chemistry the for, for the first time, it's fine, right? The valence shell just means that it's your outermost shell. So valence means outermost. If you're looking at the outermost shell, that means you have the highest principal quantum number, and that would be n is equal to 4, not 3, right? So that means we're looking at this, and we're looking at this. So if you add the number of electrons in your valence, valence or outermost, outermost shell, that would be 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7, right? So if you have 7, that means you have 7 valence electrons in your valence shell. Does that make sense? So that's another way of looking at it, as opposed to just looking at the group number. Okay, so that's 7. And that's what they have here. Okay, so they're saying atomic number of bromine is 35, which means it has seven electrons in its valence shell. Um, and then they're giving other examples, which is oxygen and neon, right? Okay, so because we're on the same topic and we're looking at oxygen and neon, maybe we can go over that. But this is basically what they're trying to say here. We don't really need the atomic number, right? It's not even necessary for this question. All we need to know is your valence, which is the 4s2 and 4p5. Now, because we're on the same topic, which is oxygen and neon, we can just quickly look over that. Oxygen is found right here, right? So remember, oxygen is basically n is equal to 2, right? So this is 1s1, 1s2, 2s2, and then you have 2p four, right? Because this is one, two, three, four, right? So again, how do you know oxygen is, or oxygen contains six valence electrons? Well, all you have to do is add two, two electrons coming from your 2s2 and your four, right? 2p4. Because remember, you're looking at n is equal to two, right? Which is your principal quantum number n is equal to two. 
Okay, just to visualize that, because chemistry is very visual as well, so we have oxygen and we have 2s2. Just keep in mind that whenever I'm, I'm telling you the electron configuration, this is not the complete electron configuration, this is just looking at the highest um, shell, right, which is 2s2. So obviously you still have the 1s2, 2s2, and so on and so forth, right? So just keep in mind, because we're considering valence, that means we're only looking at the 2. Okay, so we have 2s2 and we have 2p4, right? So as you can see, 2 plus 4, right? Because this is the number of electrons, right? And specifically, this is valence electrons. That's why you have 6. So it's 2 plus 4, that's 6. And for neon, right? Because we know that neon is a noble gas, right? And how do I know it's a noble gas? Well, it's found in group 8, right? So neon is... Okay, so let's see where neon is. Here, it's atomic number 10. Can you guys see this? Yeah, it's found in group 8, so anything that is in red, that's basically group 8. So neon, we know that this is 2p. Again, you have the 1s2, just remember to keep that in mind. And we have 2s2, and this is 2p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2p6, right? So 2s2, and you have 2p6. So that means you're going to add 6 plus 2, which is 8. Okay, so again, just to wrap this up, right? If you wanted to know your valence electrons, right? All you have to do is check your periodic table. And so this is the quickest way to do it. Check your periodic table and see where the element is found. If it's found in group 1, right? Group 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? That means that would tell you, or the group number would tell you based on how many electrons or valence electrons, right, you have. But if you're looking at your electron configuration, then that means you're only looking at the highest n value or the highest principal quantum number because n means principal quantum number. This too represents your principal quantum number. Okay, great. So we're done and yeah, everything here is right, just so you know. The only thing that I didn't really want to bring up, because I think the atomic number has nothing to do with um, the valence shell and the valence electron, was this, the 35. I guess it's just for you to, is it, um, I guess it's just for students to easily find where bromine is, but it's not really necessary.